Hello everyone, my name is Steven Kaminia. I am product manager here at MemSQL. And today I'll be giving you an overview of the MemSQL architecture, as well as a description of the product and a quick demo. So uh, this particular overview assumes that people have basic working knowledge of relational databases, but don't know much about MemSQL. So what I will be doing is explaining how MemSQL works, uh, understanding that you know about relational databases. So let's begin. What is MemSQL? MemSQL is a relational database. That's the first key takeaway. Relational database. It is also in memory and distributed. So let me talk about these concepts a little bit. Relational database, we all know that means we use SQL or SQL as the standard interface to talk to the database. In memory, from a user point of view, an in-memory database and a disk-based database will be syntactically the same. You're still querying it using SQL. The difference with in-memory and disk is, of course, speed. It's fast. Our database is extremely fast. And when we say in-memory, we actually mean that the data is stored in-memory first before being pushed to disk. And this is different than disk-based systems that store data on disk first before moving data into memory to cache. So we don't have a cache. Instead, we have the main data store existing in memory. And finally, distributed. This enables us to scale out on industry standard hardware. So instead of installing the database inside one host, you can install MemSQL on multiple hosts. And I'll describe that right now. So you, MemSQL is designed to be installed on multiple hosts. So I will draw boxes representing hosts here on the whiteboard. Now, every single MemSQL installation or every single piece that you install here is exactly equivalent. And we call them, uh, each of these things are MemSQL nodes. Nodes can be two types. They can either be what we call aggregators or what we call uh, leaf nodes or leaves. So aggregator nodes and leaf nodes. Let me just be precise here and say aggregator nodes. Okay. Aggregators, or let, let's, let's draw it. So let's say you have a bunch of leaves that I'll designate with the letter L and two aggregators. Every cluster has at least one master aggregator and one leaf node. So at the bare minimum, your MemSQL cluster will be this MA and this L. Every single MemSQL node exposes an SQL, a SQL interface. So all these guys talk SQL. So let me just draw that there, indicated by these things. Users should be querying. When they query MemSQL, they query one of the aggregators. So you fire a SQL query into the aggregator. The aggregator will then fan it out to the leaf nodes. And why is it fanned out to the leaf nodes? That's because the leaf nodes are what hold the data. So data, data in the leaf nodes is stored um, in partitions on the leaves. So um, each one of these lines represents a database partition. So again, just to repeat that point, you query aggregators and leaves are all MemSQL nodes. They are actually the exact same binary. They just do two different roles. They each expose an SQL interface. Aggregators are what you query, and they fan the query out to the leaves, and the leaves store the data. So data is stored on the leaves. And on the aggregator, we store metadata. And metadata stands for data about the data, meaning where is where are specific partitions of the data located? That's what the aggregator knows about. The leaves just know what data is stored in their specific system. Now, as I mentioned, there is one master aggregator, and there are one or more child aggregators. You can also query the child aggregators, uh, and it also goes through uh, SQL. And the difference is that the master ags handle or can handle um, DDL queries, 
DDL stands for Data Definition Language. So whenever you want to create databases, create tables, you do that through the MA. They can also handle DML queries. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. So you can select, insert, update, or delete into these constructs, into these tables that you have created. And the child aggregators can only handle DML queries. So you can select, insert, update, delete from here. And here, you can create as well as select, insert, update, delete. So um, the next piece uh, in MemSQL to go through is how do you install the system? Now, prior to uh, MemSQL 4, the way users would have to install would be to install each of these nodes individually. In MemSQL 4, we introduced the concept of MemSQL Ops. MemSQL Ops is a graphical and command line utility for installing, deploying, and managing MemSQL instances. So MemSQL Ops will actually sit, the way to install Ops is it sits inside one of the hosts um, in, your, in your cluster. So we can install it here, and then you actually tell Ops, so let me just write Ops here, and it exposes a UI, and it exposes a command line interface or CLI. You tell Ops where you want to install all the, uh, all the other nodes in your system, and Ops will go ahead and install itself everywhere. Once Ops is installed, Ops can then install based on the topology that you're looking for. So actually, just to be very uh, clear about it, the way to install MemSQL would be as follows. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of going to redraw this, uh, this diagram. So you have empty boxes without any data. And the first thing you do would be to install ops on one of the machines here. Tell ops where the rest of them are. So then it installs everything. And then tell ops through the UI or the command line, which we'll go through in a bit, exactly what you want to install on these machines. So then you can say, I want the master ag here. I want the child ag here. I want two leaves here. I want a leaf on all these other pieces. And ops can set up everything for you. So with this in mind, uh, what we'll do now is go through a quick demo of how this all works. All right. And now we'll go through a quick demo. So for this demo, what I'm actually going to do is, as you can see here in the screen, um, I have a terminal opened into a virtual machine uh, running on my Mac. Now, MemSQL only runs on Linux machines, so this is why I have a, a VM over here. And as you can see, the file that is already on my, uh, my local folder is the installer for MemSQL Ops. And what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and install MemSQL Ops, have MemSQL Ops, install MemSQL, and then show you a quick MemSQL demo. And just as a quick recap, in the last uh, section, I was talking about master aggregators and child aggregators and leaf nodes. And we had a big cluster of about eight hosts. In this, uh, for this demo, I'm going to set up something simple, something that looks something like this. We have a master aggregator um, inside the VM, and also a leaf node inside the VM, and also MemSQL ops. So as you can see, MemSQL ops on the upper left-hand side of the, of the picture has a user interface and a command line interface that we can reference. We are then going to have ops install the master aggregator and the leaf node on the same host. And as you can see, we're going to have the master aggregator running on port 3306. That's why you see SQL 3306 there. And the leaf will be running on port 3307. So I'll reference this image a few times uh, during the presentation, but uh, let's go for it and install. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, untar the file. So I'm just unpacking the MemSQL ops installer. Then I will go in and run sudo dot slash install sh. And that is basically it. I have now, this command will install MemSQL ops. And it will also ask me a few questions. So you can see here, we'll just read it. Uh, you can install MemSQL Ops across multiple machines using the MemSQL Ops web user interface. So it's telling me that, hey, if I want to do multiple machines, I can use the web UI. But for quick testing, you can install a full MemSQL deployment on this host. And that is, uh, that is this, right? That is the master aggregator and the leaf running on the same host 
installed by MemSQL Ops. So you can see if I say yes, if I say yes to this question here, it'll install uh, that deployment. So that's what I'll do. I'll hit yes. And what this is going to do is it's going to go out and download the MemSQL database binaries and install it on these hosts that we've specified. So 10.0.215, that's the local IP of the VM that I'm currently running, port 3306 and port 3307. So you can see it's done downloading, now it's installing MemSQL. There you go. So the process is very, very fast. Uh, within 30 seconds, if I didn't do any explaining, I would have installed a full MemSQL cluster already. So now let's connect to this cluster. So it says here, a MemSQL cluster is now deployed. Run the command below. So I'm just going to take that, paste it, run it, and there it is. What this is is we are opening a SQL interface into the MemSQL master aggregator. So looking again at this, we have, uh, you have the master aggregator exposing port 3306, and that is what we're connecting to with that, um, uh, with that statement. And if we go back here, one other thing to note is that MemSQL uses the MySQL wire protocol. And I, I'm not misspeaking there, it's MySQL, MySQL. And you can even see here that it says MySQL monitor, your MySQL version is version four, and it talks about MySQL. And the reason for that is that to be able to access a MemSQL database, you can do it in the same way you would access a MySQL database. So you can use the same client drivers, the same pieces of software. And that enables MemSQL to integrate with a broad array of applications. Because MySQL is one of the most popular open source databases out there. And with MemSQL, everything that you can use to connect to MySQL, you can use to connect to MemSQL. So if you have an existing business intelligence dashboard, an existing application that calls SQL queries, um, an existing piece of middleware, you can use that to connect to MemSQL very, very easily without any additional work, really. So OK, we are connected here into the MemSQL master aggregator using the MySQL client. So now I can just do show databases. And it shows you the databases I have. I can run a command, say, create database D1. And that creates a database. Uh, I can then use the database and create table T1 ID int primary key, say, and let's say another uh, column one with a varchar, just to prove the point, and that'll work. Uh, show tables, just so you know I'm telling the truth. Insert into that table values, let's see, I defined an int and a varchar, so I'll just say my name, and I can select star from the table, and you can see what I inserted. So Pretty straightforward. Another thing to show is that I can open up the host of my VM, colon 9000, to look at the UI of MemSQL Ops. So going back to the image, you can see on the upper left, you have MemSQL Ops has a user interface. And that user interface can be connected to by a web browser. So going back here, you can see that I'm using my web browser to open this user interface. And you can see that I have one host indicated by this one box. And if I click into it, I can see both my master aggregator node and my leaf node running on this same host. So very, very simple. Another really cool thing that you can do with MemSQL Ops is run a speed test. So I clicked on one button, ran a basic speed test. And what this does is it creates a very simple two-column table. And it inserts records as fast as it possibly can while doing a select with a group by, so a very simple analytical query on the data that's been inserted. And as you can see, I'm doing about uh, close to 1 million inserts per second on my VM. And that's very impressive because it's just running on a, on a very basic uh, laptop. Let me show you something even more. I now have, I have another cluster here, which I've set up on Amazon Web Services that has um, 12 MemSQL nodes. And I'm going to take the speed test on, those same, on this bigger cluster. So it's going to do the same thing. It's creating a table 
and it's inserting rows into it as fast as it can. And you can see here that we're doing about 5.4, 5 million inserts per second, which is amazing, amazing throughput for a database. Uh, for, for the viewers out there who are not familiar with other database software, barely, you can rarely get that performance, especially if you're just running on industry standard or commodity hardware. So with that, um, let me go back to uh, the terminal and just recap uh, what, I, what I showed. So the thing that I showed was installing MemSQL ops. So going back to the picture, we installed MemSQL ops on the upper left. We had MemSQL ops install the master aggregator and the leaf. We then connected to the master aggregator on port 3306. We ran queries to create the database and everything. And then we went back to the MemSQL ops user interface to show, to show you that you can also view metrics on the cluster there, and you can also run the database speed test. And with that, that's the end of the demo and the presentation. Thank you so much for viewing.